Two balls and a strike to count on Taylor. Reyes fires. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. This is way back. Walk the ball. Let's tell Hello, everybody. Welcome into the Dodger Blue YouTube channel. I'm Trevor Lane. Yeah, you probably normally see me over on Lakers Nation, but today we've got a little bit of Dodgers news to cover. Before we dive into it, quick reminder, do subscribe right here to the Dodger Blue YouTube channel. Don't forget, turn on those notifications as well. Get notified every time we put out a new video. Joining me is Matthew Moreno. Matt, uh, we've got some news, some surprising news. I don't know how this was able to fly under the radar for so long, but Cody Bellinger, back with the Dodgers for at least another year. Yeah, so, you know, Bellinger was one of the players that the Dodgers non-tendered uh, by the deadline to do so, so it guaranteed he wouldn't become a free agent just yet. Uh, that was all kind of happening as MLB was heading into their lockout because the collective bargaining agreement was going to expire. The union and the team owners have been at odds for multiple years, and so, you know, the lockout came. We're now almost, you know, not quite a month into it, three plus weeks into it. And this morning news breaks that, you know, Cody Bellinger, the Dodgers agreed to a one year, $17 million contract to avoid arbitration. And it obviously has to come with the caveat that this was actually agreed to before the lockout started, because of course, teams and players are not allowed to have any sort of communication right now. So how are we just hearing about this? Like how, how is that in this day and age with Twitter and everything else, how are we just now hearing that Cody Bellinger got his contract? I mean, I guess that's the most incredible part of all of this is yeah. that somehow they've managed to keep this quiet for this long. Yeah, definitely. When I saw, you know, when I got the alert for the tweet and the news breaking, I had to almost read it twice because I'm so programmed right now that there's no breaking news. There's no real signings outside of, you know, maybe the Dodgers doing minor league mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, they could also maybe sign Dave Roberts to his contract extension, but that hasn't happened yet either. You know, I don't know if maybe somebody just needed to ask a question a certain way to get the answer that they needed. Uh, I know Bellinger just had a, a child uh, recently, so maybe him and his representatives have kind of been uh, not isolated, but, kind of, you know, tend yeah, tending to that stuff. Uh, I, I don't know. I was just I was shocked. I mean, there's there's no other way to put it. Like you said, in this this day and age, sometimes we get news so quickly that it ends up unfortunately being incorrect and then re you know it needs to be revised and all that so what does this mean for the dodgers moving forward here as they're building out the roster for next season where does bellinger slot in we know he didn't have a great season last time around but what what does this mean in terms of the the overall roster build yeah so you know he's still obviously going to be under contract for at least 2022 it's possible that maybe him and the Dodgers then sit down during the season and try to work out some sort of long-term extension. I wouldn't necessarily bet on that for multiple of reasons. One, Bellinger's coming off a down year uh, this season, this past season, and his agent is Scott Boris, who notoriously prefers his players go to the open market so that he can kind of start, you know, a bidding war type thing. Uh, so Bellinger sh should be starting in right field again, maybe playing a little bit of first base. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he really bounces back from this year because you don't want to have a repeat season that he just had going into free agency because that will hurt his market as much as you know I was uh, a proponent of his that he did struggle throughout this past year there's no denying that but I thought he still provided value and that was with you know elite defense at multiple positions and I thought come the playoffs he would end up getting you know a couple big hits for the team and sure enough he did he drew a big walk for Chris Taylor in the wild card game that you know ended up leading to a walk-off home run Bellinger had the go-ahead hit against the Giants in Game 5 of the NLDS. He had the big home run against the Braves in the NLCS. So there's still something there. You know, hopefully he'll just get – he'll be further removed from his shoulder surgery, probably healthier, uh, hopefully not dealing with any more hamstring issues or lingering effects from fracturing his shin, stuff like that. So now that the, the Dodgers are putting this team together or, or putting all the pieces together – Cody Bellinger, him staying and being in house now, and now you don't have to worry about that. Does that change any of their targets in terms of free agency? I mean, we've seen the rumors about Freddie Freeman and things like that. Does that does that make any kind of an impact on on those pending future moves? No, it shouldn't. Uh, you know, Bellinger can play first base, which obviously, if you if the Dodgers were to sign Freddie Freeman, then that's where Freddie Freeman's going to right. play. Um, and you know, he's not, it's not some mega contract that the Dodgers doled out to Bellinger. He's getting a nine hundred thousand dollar raise from his two thousand one salary, which is prototypical. You know, when you go through the arbitration process, players typically obviously will get raises because it's kind of based on performance and career accolades up to that point. 
Uh, so there shouldn't necessarily be too much of an impact there. Right. Well, Cody Bellinger back with the Dodgers. We got it's almost like a little bit of an early Christmas present here, Matt, <laughs> because we're not expecting much in terms of baseball transactions. And then boom, here it is. A little a little gift under the tree for Dodgers fans. We get Cody Bellinger coming back, which is which is nice to see. Uh Matt, thanks so much for for top the, taking the time and uh hopping on here. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad we were able to get you uh, back on the Dodgers side for something not Carlos Correa. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Has a has a much cleaner feel getting to do a, a little something here on uh, on Cody Bellinger. Everybody, don't forget, subscribe right here to the Dodger Blue YouTube channel. Turn on those notifications as well. Till next time, see ya and stay safe.